Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind the scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. Approximately 515 to 495 million years ago, Western Utah was covered by shallow seas. In this episode, we speak with Melanie Hopkins on her research on trilobites from this area. So my name is Melanie Hopkins, and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the geology department. I work on the early evolution of animals. I work on a group of organisms called trilobites, and they were some of the first animals that ever evolved. Trilobites are marine arthropods. So an arthropod is a large group of different types of organisms. It includes insects, crustaceans, spiders, things like millipedes, basically anything that has hard or semi-hard exoskeleton and a bunch of legs. And trilobites, they're a group of arthropods that are completely extinct. Probably their closest living relative are horseshoe crabs. I have spent some time working on one particular locality in eastern Nevada. I was looking at morphological change in a couple species of trilobites, but the interesting thing about this locality is that during this short period of time, at the bottom of the section we see rocks that are in indicative of shallow water setting. And as you move up in section, you start seeing rocks that indicate deeper water. So through the section that I was collecting, basically what the rocks were recording is that at this particular locality, water depth was getting deeper. So I was looking at morphological changes in a species of trilobite during a period of environmental change, in this case as water depth changed. And the uh, morphological change in, the, in this particular trilobite was the position and orientation of the eyes on the head. And it's the same sort of change that other trilobite paleontologists have seen in other groups of trilobites, also in areas where water was getting deeper. We know that the environment was changing in this locality because the rocks were changing. And in particular, the rocks were telling us that water depth was increasing. Corresponding to this period of environmental change, we're also seeing changes in the shape of the trilobites that are living in this environment at the time. 